equations of inverses. We were right to write the um, inverse equation for this f of x graph. We want to switch the x and y value. We don't see a y value, but we know that we can let f of x represent y. So if I rewrite that as y equals negative 5x minus 10, that will help us visualize switching x and y. So we're going to rewrite it now. So we're going to start the inverse and write x equals negative 5y minus 10. Now I want to isolate the y value, so I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to move the 10 to the other side. And now to get y by itself, I need to divide both sides by negative 5. Okay, so that'll cancel that off. So I'm going to put the y equals over here. So 1 divided by negative 5, we get negative 1 fifth x. 10 divided by negative 5, we're going to get minus 2. We still have a linear function. My inverse is linear. Therefore, I know that it is still a function. So we need to write it in the proper function notation for an inverse. Let's look at a quadratic equation now. Same idea, we want to switch the x and y values. So we're going to write x equals y plus 4 squared minus 2. Let's isolate y. We're going to move the 2 to the other side. So we'll add the 2 over there. I need to clear off the squared now. So I need to square root this side and therefore square root this side. When I square root this side, I now have plus or minus the square root of x plus 2. And here that clears off the square. Now to get y by itself, I need to move the 4 to the other side. So it will just be behind like so. And then typically we would like to write our y value at the front. So y equals plus or minus x plus 2 minus 4. Now this was a parabola. We know the parabola was a function. If I write uh, look, consider the inverse of a function, it would um, not be, sorry, the inverse, it would not be a function as this a parabola would fail the horizontal line test. So we know the shape of a parabola is like so, it would fail the horizontal line test. So I know this is not a function, so I cannot convert that to f negative 1x. I need to leave that just as a y value.